over the country over the course of a few months, there were about 21 million symptomatic cases, 290,000 hospitalizations, and 37,000 deaths. These numbers were not COVID-19 numbers. They were cases and deaths from flu during the 2010 to 2011 influenza season. How many of us were aware of the daily case and death count during that flu season more than a decade ago? Testing and counting cases of a disease are the cornerstones of epidemiology and allow us to document the scope and spread of disease. In some ways, COVID-19 case and death counting 18 months into the pandemic has taken on an uncomfortably familiar role, with tallies being reported in all media in much the same way as, say, the weather, which is also reported daily. But as the pandemic ebbs and flows, as vaccination reaches more than 70% of the population, and when the severity of illness among persons who became infected after being vaccinated is almost certainly mild, the question arises, does the omnipresence of case counts give us an impression of risk that is at odds with real risk? When might we turn our attention back to the full range of illness around us and balance the risk of COVID-19 with that from other diseases?